All right, guys. Uh, we're gonna be installing this uh, clutch master cylinder here now. So uh, first, we're gonna connect the hose and then uh, pre-prime this cylinder before we install it. So we're gonna put fluid in here. We're gonna pump three, four, who knows, ten times till you see a fluid coming out. And when you see a fluid coming out, we'll install it right away. All right. So we put a dot three brake fluid in here. All right, so grab uh, a Sharpie or anything soft. This is what I got in my garage. So we're gonna be pumping this up. All right, so when you pump this, uh, just pretend that you're bleeding it out. So just push the rod in, plug the hole, and then let it go. And then keep doing, keep doing that. There you go, see that fluid coming out? Slowly. There you go. I got fluid in here now. So this is ready to go. All right, so when you see fluid coming out, it's ready to go. So uh, it's ready to install and uh, let's put this uh, gasket in here. Line it up. All right, so hopefully you can see this uh, area right here. Check the rod on the inside, make sure you line up. Hi everybody! Alright, so that lined up good. Next we'll put this uh, copper washer in to the line. Top and bottom. There's two in here. And then you, you just screw that in. Alright, we're back underneath the dash here. There's the clutch. And there is the rod, and there is the the master clutch cylinder right there. All right, so that little plate right there, I just find out the purpose of that plate is to hold that rod up so that it will line up to the hole of the master cylinder. That's the only purpose of that plate. It doesn't hold the master cylinder or doesn't do anything else. It just hold that rod up while you're holding it up it will line up and you push that clutch master cylinder in now that's how it look like all right so uh let's bolt her down and uh this side is good it's super tight spot in here it's hard to put a power tools in here now let's work on the other side now all right here we go Tight fit in here, silver tight fit. Okay. Should I go? Just run and back. Make sure those two nuts are tight, and you don't want to do this job again because this is ridiculous. There's no room down here to work, and then you just work on your back upside down, and uh, this is one hell of a job. After this part right here, when everything is nice and tight, be sure to put that clip on that rod if you took the clip out. And after that, let's go under the hood and uh, let's go bleed this thing. Alright guys, uh, underneath the vehicle, we're gonna bleed this uh, clutch. So, uh, but what I got here is just a manual pump. Uh, we're gonna vacuum pump this air out. And then uh, this should be ready to go. So we're gonna crack that bleeder open. All right, so this is a eight millimeter bleeder screw right here. Open her up and then uh, we'll put that clear hose in and we're gonna bleed this thing out. The thing about this is uh, you don't need two people to do this job. You don't need to like open and close the valve. You just need to keep it open. And then this will pull the, the air out of the system. So it will, when you see fluid coming out, it will come to here. So it's, like it's draining already. You can see this gra gravity fed. So I'm gonna pump it now. It will pull air out. And you keep an eye on that room, make sure it's full. So I just keep pumping. 
you can see on the clear hose that there's a uh, bubbles coming out just keep an eye on the reservoir make sure it's full and uh, make sure that banjo bolt is nice and tight no leaks all right so let's go underneath check it out all right look at that there's a lot of fluid now that's a lot of fluid on that container just keep an eye on that clear hose make sure that no air come on zoom in there we go Oh, no, there's more bubbles coming out. Look at those bubbles. Wow. Just keep pumping it. And just make sure to stay on uh, about 10, 8 PSI on the gauge of the pump. Here's my gauge right there. Yeah, still bubbles coming out. All right, let's go on top. All right, she's getting low. Let's add some more. All right, guys, so it's been bled. I probably emptied about about uh, one and a half of these uh, container here. So it's been bled. I pumped the clutch pedal 10, 20 times and it's, it's getting nice and firm. And I closed the valve right there. It's really good now. It's nice and firm. So there's the picture of the slave cylinder right there you can't even see the plunger inside this is inside the transmission there's a little window right there it's gonna put the camera in there and then show you the the action of that slave cylinder but uh, there's no room now you can pull out this uh, bleeder kit out it's ready to go all right, it's going to quickly show you guys how feel this uh, clutch pedal is. So, it's a little soft right here, and then it gets firm half way in. So, this is a really good. Let's keep pumping it. And then bleed it out again. Shut it. Keep pumping it it out again so just keep doing that and then you should be okay so let's go to the front all right so the front here there is a reservoir still good there's our master cylinder for the clutch no leaks so this is a fix guys it's done we're gonna give this a try start it up and then move each gear and see how it feels and this is ready to go all right so that's it uh thanks for watching and then uh see you guys again in the next video